Hey, Paul Akers here. I just got a phone call from a customer. They're doing one millimeter PVC edge banding using speed tape and it's starting to come up. And the reason why is because one millimeter is very thick and it has a lot of memory in it compared to 0.018, the standard edge banding thickness. So with that, you can get away with it. It's not, there's not that much tension in the material, but this, there's a lot of tension in there. So what I recommend doing is the following. Number one is, if you take a piece of material like this, this is one mil, two mil, three mil, I'm just gonna demonstrate to you what happens when you apply a little heat to it. So I've got an iron here, okay? And I'm gonna put this down like this, and I'm gonna put that over the top of it. I'm gonna heat it up, and you can see it's already starting to lay flat really nice. And really, you want it laying flat. You don't want it under tension when you're applying it. So you could do it like this, although it's not really necessary to do it exactly like this. I'm more just demonstrating what happens with the application of heat to this one mil, two mil, or three mil PVC. Now, if you're afraid of it burning at all, I have this on very high temperature. You can also put a rag in between it. Just lay the rag out like this, right? And go like that. Sometimes you can get away without doing that. It's easier to not do it but it also is an option. So you can see I got this very flat very easily. Now, this is the way you do the project actually. So we're gonna take our speed tape right here and I'm gonna take a piece off long enough to do this real quick. Stuff is so sticky. And we're gonna put it over here, put it on the end there, make sure I've got it centered pretty good. Just like that, take my roller, I'm gonna roll it on. Now the important thing to note here is Speed Tape is a very high performance acrylic adhesive that has been specifically designed for woodworkers in that the acrylic adhesive on the side that's exposed is 3.5 mils. The other side is 1.5. The reason we did that is because, I'm gonna peel it off so you can kind of see how this looks like. So we have a nice film here. See that film? This is 3.5 on this side, this is 1.5 on that side. So the side that touches the PVC is 1.5. The side that touches the wood right here is 3.5. The wood is more porous, you need more adhesive to bond and absorb into the fibers. So that's why we did it. So we recommend putting speed tape on with the exposed side down on the wood. So you've got that done. Then all I'm gonna do is quickly trim this off like this, trim off both ends so I'm not contending with any adhesive hanging over too much. I've got my piece of very curly PVC that I have not ironed out or done anything with. I'm gonna take a utility knife, a little trick here, stab it in the end like this, and then you can lift that up just like that and peel that off. Now, notice that there adhes there's adhesive hanging over the edge right here. Do not roll that down. You'll make a total disaster and mess. You put this on like this, and you try to keep it centered as best you can, just like that. Then you come over here and we're gonna trim it, and you can see the adhesive's holding that, that curve out of it really nicely. And you can trim it really nice with our flush cut trimmers. Everything's easy, right? So that's hanging on there really nice, and I'm gonna roll it really good like this. Now, do you see how I've got a little adhesive hanging out there, right there? You could use three quarter inch speed tape and basically avoid that problem, but I use one inch. I'm just gonna take that and slide that right along the bottom edge. You don't have to do this, I'm just avoiding any extra cleanup. And then if I take that adhesive now, see how I can pull that off, just like that, so when I go to trim this, it's not gonna be a mess. So I saw that, that was hanging out, I'm gonna take that off. Now, the next step is to trim it with the quad trimmer. But to be honest with you, that is really hard and thick. Will the quad trimmer do it? Not sure, let's give it a try. If it doesn't, I'll show you the trick. So you're gonna come in here like this, and it does trim it, but man, it's tough. It's really, really hard to trim through that thick plastic, but it did it. Look at that, did a nice job too. Here's the trick, and here's the important thing. You're gonna use a thicker material, and you wanna make sure it stays put, and it's not pulling against that adhesive all the time. Take an iron, heat it up, 
put it on there. Now what we're doing is we're just basically softening that material real quick. We're making it lay flat, just as you saw in the demo that I just did. Okay, you're also heating the adhesive and you're applying pressure. When you heat the adhesive, what's cool about that is the adhesive gets very soft, it gets very pliable, it goes down into the fibers of the wood, it bonds even better. It's not necessary to do it, but when you're trying to hold on something that's this aggressive, you want every possible advantage. If you're concerned about burning this material, then don't worry about it, just put a rag between it when you're applying the heat. So now I've got that on there, I've got it nice and hot. Now I'm gonna take my roller real quick. I'm gonna roll it like crazy, make sure that adhesive is in there. Now this is still warm. So now when I go to trim it, it's gonna trim very easily by comparison. It's just a little softer, pushes through there a little nicer. Then I'm gonna take my fast brake, lightly break the edge, and I'm done. And I've got a perfect job every time. Look how nice this all came out just looks absolutely flawless. So those are the tricks. The one mil, the two mil, the three mil, the thicker material. Can you use speed tape? You can, you gotta do it right. You gotta warm it up, make it relax, and things should go really well for you. Thanks a lot.